For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, uh, let's do this problem where they want you to find the magnitude of F1 and the distance Y if X is equal to 1.5 and F2 is equal to 1000. So the distance from here to here is 1.5 meters. With that distance we can find this angle uh, easily. This angle is given by the, let's call it theta. This angle is given by the tangent inverse of the opposite which is 2 over the adjacent which is 1.5 given at the problem and comes out to be 53.13 degrees now that we have this angle we know that the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to 0 assuming this orientation so this force right here and this force right here, we're working with the free body diagram of V. This force right here is equal to F1, and this force right here is also equal to F1 because they're all part of the same chord. So, some of the forces on the Y is equal to zero. So, you got let's pretend this angle is called like this. So, F of 1 going up times the sine of this angle is equal to f of 1 times the sine of this angle, the component going down. As you can see, the f of 1's cancel out and sine of an angle and sine of the same is equal to the sine of the only the same angle. Therefore, these angles are the same. So this angle right here is also 53.13 degrees. If 1.5 and you have 53.13 degrees, and both triangles share the same side then by symmetry this y is equal to 2 meters because these are the same triangle on the top and at the bottom just reflect it that being said sum of the forces in the x is equal to 0 so the x components of these f1 forces going up and down is the same going to the left so it's minus 2 times f1 times the cosine of the angle that is 53.13 plus f2 is equal to 0 and we know that f2 is equal to 1000 so we just plug it in here and then we solve for f1 and you get that f1 is equal to 833.33 newtons so final answer for f1 and final answer for y. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.